So, hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming with just one of the most insane videos that I have ever gotten to make on the channel. Maybe the most insane video. We are here currently in the early access for the high caliber weapons pack and the pistol packing update. And I've been doing some grinding, and we have something incredibly special out here in front of us. That is a level 5, and I can tell from the antlers and the score estimate, guaranteed diamond, piebald fallow deer. Oh my days. So, I was doing some grinding before I got onto the early access, and I was having some weird stuff with fallow, and then I moved to the early access and started having some more success. I started having more diamonds and stuff show up, and I was like, okay, maybe we'll be able to get this grind going again because the grind just basically it just went so bad i don't understand what happened it seemed like i had deer just disappearing and stuff it was really bizarre but i did a lot of work and finally managed to get things going again at a steady pace and i had two diamonds before this and then this guy shows up and like i said i know he's a diamond half of his rack is the big diamond rack and the other half is sort of the medium diamond rack and the i know that the piebald fallow score at the top of their estimate from my other two piebald diamond super rare fallow deer which were both the same piebald pattern too so i've now had three super rare fallow on this just ongoing grind for a silver fur type great one fallow that have all been the same pattern and this guy actually has the same rack configuration as the first one i got he's got like i said half of the big rack and half of the medium rack which is just wild like i spotted that it was a piebald and it had big antlers and i was like is that as big as I think it is? I put the binos up and it says 5 medium and I see that top estimate of 263. I know he's going to score 263 something and I just panicked. And I decided, you know, I've got pictures of a super rare that looks exactly like this. So let's just drop him. And we're using the Schoenberg 4570 handgun, which actually is part of this early access. It's part of the early access for the high caliber weapons pack. This is a gun that's in the high caliber weapons pack. So I figured, seeing as this was an ethical gun to use, that we would take this guy with it. And honestly, I just wanted to get this guy down as quickly as possible. I was freaking out. And I pick him up. And as I expected, he's 263, he's 263.70, so towards the very top of what he could possibly score, and he's max weight, exactly the same as my first super rare fellow. He has the same rack, which, when I saw it, made me think, hey, this guy could be max weight, because I've had a lot of max weights with this half and half rack. Which is really strange. You'd expect Max Waits to have the full big rack, like his right hand side, if you're looking straight at him. But I get a lot of Max Waits with this uneven rack. So when I saw it, I was like, this could be another Max Weight super rare, and it is. Now, at that range, the 4570 did a good job, and I have literally, just before this video will have gone live, I will have posted my review on the update talking about the weapons and stuff. The 4570 does a good job at really close range, you know, especially this is the minimum class that it can take because the 4570 is a class 4 to 9 weapon. So I figured that that would be a perfect weapon to take this guy with, seeing as he spawned here in the early access for the high caliber weapons pack to use the ethical new 4570 handgun, which is just insane and i mean this is by far the most insane trophy that i've been fortunate enough to take during an early access you know that i've been fortunate enough to take part in thank you to ew again for letting me take part in this early access but this was just wild like i was having such struggles with fallow like before i switched over to the early access i was talking about giving up on them and maybe i just won't go for a silver and then I had like two diamonds that spawned like I said and it made me hopeful and then I just kept going and this guy spawned and I was like okay I can't give up now I just, <laughs> you know you get a super and it's like I want to keep going now and see if this is gonna this luck is gonna continue but 
We have a very cool multi-mount to make here in the Trophy Lodge. Because as I mentioned, I have two other super rare fallow deer from this ongoing Great One grind for a silver Great One fallow. So we have the 262, which was actually my first ever super rare in this game. A, again, split rack. It had the half big rack, half medium rack for a diamond fallow. Again, a piebald. Then we have a 259 piebald diamond and then today's fallow which is a 263.70 which actually makes him my biggest super rare fallow and we have a huddle of all piebald diamond fallow this is insane i had the two diamonds and a big gold with the other piebald pattern in this mount before but i just had to put all three in this mount like how could i not put all three piebald diamonds in the same mount especially with them all having the same piebald fur like that's just insane and two having the same rack as well and both being max weight and so close in score that's just insane one of the most insane mounts in either of my trophy lodges i have a couple of mounts now multi mounts that are actually just insane but i don't even know what to say about this one i mean goodness me what an amazing multi-mount to have in my trophy lodge. Now, after I shot that super rare fallow, I decided to come back out to the grind and continue on my search for a silver great one fallow deer. And at the Twin Lakes, as it's commonly known, I spotted this level five white fallow deer, scanned across the lake and spotted this. That is a 10 fabled fallow deer that is a great one fallow literally i don't even know an hour or two hours after the super rare this guy spawned i had a couple more diamonds and then this guy which is insane this is the mocha fur type with the spoon rack so not the great one fallow that we're specifically going after as i already have all of the racks and furs for great one fallow except for the silver fur type which is actually my absolute favorite fur so that's the whole reason i'm grinding fallow is because i've ended up getting every other possible trophy for great one fallow except that one fur that is my overall favorite so i'm kind of determined to keep trying to get a silver fallow because they are just so gorgeous but i didn't expect a great one to show up like so close after a super rare and in early access like what the heck he is beautiful i love the great one fallow and even though i'm going after one specific fur type you can't complain about a great one no matter what fur or rack it has they are so gorgeous now once again we are going to take this guy with the 4570 and we're a little bit further away but i was pretty confident based on the results on the super rare that we would be able to drop this guy and thankfully we did just wow i mean i don't know what to say like i can't believe that it happened like i know i know how insane this looks but i can't believe it happened either i was like what the heck a super rare in early access and then a great one and yes we are going to be able to keep our progress from this early access which is why i've been grinding if we weren't going to be able to keep our progress i wouldn't be grinding to try and get trophies but we were told we'll be able to keep our progress when the update actually releases. So that's why I've been grinding. And now we have this. What a beauty. 281.43. Fabled Mocha. 139.14 kgs. Very, very heavy. That is awesome. Just awesome. Double lunged him with the 4570 handgun. That is amazing. Like... I just don't know what to say. I've had a great one and a super rare on the same day before. I had a great one moose and a super rare piebald diamond whitetail, which I ended up getting on the same night. I shot the whitetail and thought, well, this isn't going to get any better on this grind tonight. Let's go for a moose. And then ended up shooting a great one moose a few hours later. I'll link that video in the description. That one was just an insane one as well. But for this to happen in early access with brand new weapons... Like, as far as I know, this is the first great one and first super rare taken with the Jernberg 4570, which is insane. 
to say. Like, I never thought I would be the first one to take a great one and a super rare with the same weapon. And yeah, that's just insane. Like, obviously I know this is early access, but I still didn't think it was going to happen in early access. Like, I didn't think this would happen at all. And then it happens literally, like, it can't have been more than like an hour or an hour and a half. Maybe, Like I said, maybe two hours. It was an insanely short time between the two trophies. And I was just in shock. Like, I looked across, I saw that white fur diamond. Like, that was a diamond level 5. No no question about it. And I was like, okay, I'll shoot that. And then I look across and there's a freaking great one stood there. And I'm like, what? There's no way. But it happened. <laughs> like I said, it's not the one we're after. This is actually the same rack and fur as, I think, my second great one, Fallow. I think it was. Which was also a Fable Mocha with the spoon rack. But this is a beautiful combo. I mean, the colour of the antlers matches the colour of the fur so, so well. It's beautiful. They are gorgeous. Like, all the Great One Fallow are gorgeous. But we're going to keep going with Fallow and see if we can get that Fabled Silver. That's the dream. That's the goal. We'll get a Fabled Silver and then I'll be done with Fallow, basically. That is the dream Great One Fallow trophy for me is a Fabled Silver. Similar to the big non-typical rack moose being the ultimate Great One moose for me. A Fabled Silver Fallow will be the ultimate Grey One Fallow for me. I don't really mind so much what the antlers are, as I have examples of all of the different antlers. But I really, really want to get that that Fabled Silver fur. But, wow. Like, most insane early access was that. I mean, it was the most insane early access, access I've ever been part of when I just shot the Super Rare. And then I'd get a Great One after, which... I don't even know what to say. Like, sat here thinking about it. What? I just... No words. Just incredible. Incredible. Best early access ever. But that is going to be it for this one. So I really, really hope you have enjoyed it. An incredibly special one for me. And honestly, I can't wait to share it. I've got to wait until embargo drops. And, you know, we can finally post videos from this early access. And I can't tell you how excited I'm going to be waiting to post this. But that is going to be it for this one. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.